Hey, my name is Chi Chi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the college admissions process. Okay, this this particular process is for someone who is either straight out of high school or has not taken any college level courses right after high school or after taking their GED. All right, let's get into it. So congratulations, you are taking the very first step into furthering your education career. I'm very proud of you. Uh, it is not easy, but I know that you can do this. So the first process, or I would say the first step is to make sure you vet out the school that you want to go to. Uh, it's always cool to uh, look online, look at the pictures, but you really want to be able to not only just look online, if you have the opportunity to go and visit the school, I would strongly recommend you get a feel of uh, what the campus is like. If you go during the time you see students uh, acclimating and moving around, you're able to see what it looks like on the day to day. So I would definitely re recommend vetting out the school. Next step is applying, right? So you know you want to go into college, now apply. So you want to, the major that you're looking into going to, or the major that you want to pursue, let's put it like that. Make sure, again, we're vetting out this, the schools. You want to make sure that the school that you are picking as the major that you want. Also, there is an application fee, okay? There's no way around it in most cases. There's no way around it. You, When you apply, you do have to pay a fee to apply to the school. Next step is you want to make sure that you have your high school diploma or you have your GED so that you can upload that information that lets the college know that you have are graduate or you have completed the equivalent to high school. Okay. Last step for the process is immunization. Just the college is going to require you to provide proof of your immunization records. Now, maybe I'm dating myself. But when I had to submit submit proof of immunization at that time, we had to show yellow cards. We don't have to do that now. You can actually get a printout from your primary doctor. Uh, with that, more than likely, they'll st the doctor will stamp it just to solidify that it's real. And so you can use that and provide that as proof. Okay. So. Just to cover all of the bases, you are going to vet out the school that you want. Remember to apply and have the funds ready for the application fee. You are going to also provide your GED or high school diploma equivalent. Uh, yes, high school diploma. You are also going to have your immunization ready. Okay, those are the main things that you need in applying for the admission process. All right, good luck to you. Take care, bye.